Could I have an extra large coffee with two cream, please? Sure, anything else? Yeah, sausage farmer's wrap with uh, creamy barbecue sauce instead of chipotle. Sure. With a hash brown. Anything else? That's it. Attention. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning from the darkness, everybody. We're up before the sun again. This time of year, this happens all too often. The sun's going, going to bed earlier and getting up later. Hello. Good morning, Snake. Thank you. They are on the ball this morning. Nice and quick. So it is early, early in the morning. Oh, well, it's actually not that early, but uh, according to the sun, it's early. Doesn't want to get up yet. Neither do I, but here we are, living the dream. Gotta go to work. Freight needs delivered. People need their stuff. It's officially time. See that back there? That's the winter jacket. I don't need it quite yet, but I brought it back into Old Blue because I'm gonna need it soon and I wanna be ready for that day. So the winter gear is making its way back into the truck. Just the jacket for now. I've got a toque up here for my head, warm gloves. In the next couple of weeks, I'll be moving more and more uh, extra blankets, extra gloves, extra clothing, my winter jeans, they're lined, getting ready for what's to come. This is Canada after all. I better know how to prepare, right? They're in more of a hurry than me, I guess. Oh, you see that truck over there to the right? He dragged his trailer into the ditch, now he's stuck. Uh-oh, uh-oh, better remember we're full of trailers. Not me right now. I'm Bob Bailey. I've got to uh, about another 25 kilometers, 15 miles. Road's a little bit bumpy. Woo! Yeehaw! Getting to that time of year again where all the water melts during the day and it flows into the cracks of the road. And then at night it freezes and it expands and it bulges out these huge bumps on the road. Oh yeah. Good times. Good times. All right, so we got this load tied down. It's only an hour, actually. This has got to go an hour down the road. Whole bunch of work here. <laughs> it's for a short trip, but like I said, they're helping me out, staying close to home, I guess. I guess there's nothing else going on right now. It's okay, I don't mind these short ones. As long as I do a lot of the short ones, it's the same as doing a long one, right? You can either do a long one and just unload and reload once, or you can do like three or four short ones in that same amount of time and make the same money. It's just more work. That's okay. Let's show you this load that I got here. Everything's holding everything else down. Got these here belly wrapped so that they're sucked in and held down. Don't have to worry about those rolling out. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's go to Portage La Prairie. Another trip down these wonderful gravel roads that I love so much. It's only a mile or two, about two miles, so it's much better than 600 miles that we did last time up north. We're north of Portage La Prairie in south central Manitoba. I have to deliver to a farm just up here, about a mile, less, a little less than a mile in front of me. Just take a little while to go down here because I don't want to fly down these roads. My tires like to pick up rocks and fling them. And even though I have like half fenders over my front axle in the back, the rocks still get through and they still fly all over the place, damage stuff. Ways. You have arrived at your destination. Okay. So we're 
I'm trying to figure out how to unload these long pieces on top here. They're very flexible and when you unload it with just one, it wants to flex and twist and not come off straight. They're about 48 foot pieces. So they might have to go get another forklift, lift from this end and also lift from that end over there. So yeah, they've decided to go grab another forklift. 48 feet, it's a long one. And they got just this one little forklift here, right? And that's not enough. We were hoping it would be, but this stuff is so flexible that, uh, you know, you pick it up from the center there. And this end wants to twist that way. That end wants to twist this way. And then, I don't know if that happened just now, but you always want to make note of any damages or anything that are on the load so that they don't say it was you. Uh, I'm okay waiting here though. Not a big deal. Just more time to watch YouTube. Catch up with what's going on around the world. Man, it keeps changing by the minute, so I try to keep on top of things. Finally, we're taking you back in history. On this day in 1973, oil cartel OPEC announced an embargo on oil exports. It cut exports to the US and other countries that were giving military aid to Israel during the Yom Kippur War. This led to oil prices soaring to unprecedented levels. We're leaving you on that note. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. They're just going to leave us on that note. Oh, that's, that's comforting. Yeah, that's comforting. Yeah, the last time this happened, there was an oil embargo on the West. As if fuel prices aren't expensive enough already, right? Man. My heart goes out to all of you who are affected by war. Uh... I can't imagine. I, I, I honestly, I cannot imagine the pain and the the feeling of what has happened out there. With the initial attacks that triggered the response and now the war that's going on now and war always comes with so much death. So while I'm waiting for uh, them to bring their other forklift, they took off in a pickup truck. So I'm guessing they're gonna go get a utility trailer another forklift or, or skid steer and trailer it here. They said that I'd have to wait a little while. I said, that's no problem. I got no load planned on me yet. So I'll let dispatch and uh, the load gods know that, hey, I'll just be here for a little bit longer. I don't know how long, but in the meantime, I'm gonna hang up my clothes that I washed and organize my truck a little bit. Cause so often, you go, 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 go on the road. You don't have time to clean everything and keep everything neat and tidy. And eventually the mess builds up, builds up and builds up until it's just a disaster zone, right? And this happens a lot with me because sometimes you don't notice your own mess until someone else steps into it, right? And then you feel embarrassed. This hasn't happened to me yet, but it has before where I'm, I don't even notice it because it's my mess, right? It's like, oh, whatever, I'll live with it. I'll clean it up eventually, right? I'll clean it up eventually. Then suddenly someone you know comes by and they're like, hey, can I take a look in your truck? And you're like, yeah, sure, go ahead, go ahead. And then you're like, oh no, I haven't cleaned the truck in five weeks. <laughs> right, and then it's just a, it's a pride thing. You want to keep your truck neat and tidy and organized. And it's not always easy. I'm not perfect in that at all. My truck gets very messy and it's it's messy more often than it's neat and tidy. But I'm gonna take this opportunity now to organize a little bit. Clean things up, put them where they're supposed to be. This is what we're dealing with back here right now. I just threw everything in here again, you know? I gotta clean this up. And the front here isn't too isn't too great either, you see? So I'm I'm showing you my embarrassing mess at my own expense, because I don't like showing this to you, that's embarrassing, but just so you guys know, when you guys got a bit of a messy truck, you're not the only one. We should just all try to do better to keep it cleaner. And I'm gonna do that now and clean things up a little bit so that it's a little bit more respectable in here. 
Oh yeah, they got two forklifts now on the other side there. They got one there and one there. They're gonna slowly back up together. Just waiting for this guy on this side to get his side lifted up. Oh yeah, see they brought a trailer with that truck over there. Uh, that's how they got it here. All lifted up and then they're gonna back up together. There they go, now they're backing up. There we go. That's a much safer way than trying to do it with one. That's smart. And then they'll slowly let it down together. Beautiful. That's the way you do that. So the rest of it will come off the trailer pretty quickly now. I didn't really get a chance to clean up much. I put my clothes away. I was about to put the sheet and blanket on the bed on the mattress there. I'll continue to do that while they unload the rest. Maybe I'll get it done yet. There we go. A little bit better. Right? Feel better about that. Oh, there's one of those little crazy bugs. No. No, you must not be in here. Why <coughs> out there? That's those uh, little lady-like, ladybug-like bugs. I kind of think they're called like Asian ladybugs or Asian beetles or something. They're an invasive species to here, and they stink. They like release little stink bombs. Oh, he's here ready for, oh no, he's just grabbing a skid right behind my truck here. Coming really close to my truck. We're all good though. We're all good. He knows what he's doing. That's right there, grabbing it. He had to spin the pallet. So I believe what my load was, my freight is uh, a grain, grain dryer or a grain bin, I think. I think they're done, but there's still a lot of garbage left on my trailer. I'll have to go and clean that up. I guess we're out of here. As soon as I clean that up. I swung into the Flying J in Portishville Prairie just to wait for marching orders. And I got them. We're going into Kenora. I'm going to go to our yard, bring this trailer there, grab a different trailer. I'm going to see if I can get a step deck. They said I could keep this trailer if I wanted to, but it doesn't have sliding winches. I don't like that because it makes it harder to tie down some freight. And I don't know what my reload will be after Kenora. So it's just easier to deal with the sliding ones. So I'm gonna bring this one back, grab a different one. And then head out that way and sleep either in Prada or in Kenora itself tonight. Just waiting for traffic coming from the left here. You have a whole other lane right beside you, bud. No, you want to keep this one. Okay, no one's forcing you to move over. No, there's no law saying you got to move over for me. It's just nice. the empty trailer here at the yard. I'm about to throw it into this hole here. Hole's a little tight. It's never stopped me before. 
See if I can do it in one shot. Wish me luck. And don't fall. Hold on, please, I need you. This trailer is gonna stay here. It looks like it's crooked, but I lined it up straight to that one. I had to pick which one was straight. I picked that one. So that one's straight, this one's crooked. Okay, and if I would've picked this one, this one would be straight and that one would be crooked. I had to pick one. Blue's my favorite color. So the blue one was straight, obviously. I'm thinking of grabbing that trailer right there. Somebody left the riser on there again. Just like last time. Good thing I enjoy putting away stuff for other people so much. If I grab that trailer, I'll, I don't mind. I'll take the time, I'll put it away over there on the on the riser pile. R right over there. R right there. It's not too far away. It's just, oh, they got so close, you know. <laughs> they just didn't quite make it. I'll take it the rest of the way and put it away where it's supposed to be. Why not? Why not? Or, or we could take, oh, no, that one's red tagged. That step deck over there. I see another one over there though. Oh, let's investigate. Stay. Let's go see. I want to take a step deck. I just, I prefer to work with step decks. I like the lower working area. Can reach the freight better. Uh, I don't know, just my preference. If I bought my own trailer, it would probably be a step deck. A triaxle with a one or two lift axles on it, but let's go see what we got over here. Oh, we got two steps over here. Okay. I might be able to, uh, yeah, you know what? I can leave that one over there. Whoever left that riser on there can put it away themselves. <laughs> A little salty, aren't I? I know. I just love extra work. Uh, 101 DB or 106 DB? What do you guys think? I'm thinking this one because it's cleaner. That one looks a little dirty. Maybe we shouldn't judge a trailer by its cover, right? Maybe this one's better. I'm thinking I'm going to take the clean one. I'm thinking I'm going to take the clean one. Safety's good till August 2024. Okay. This one. Oh, here. Safety's good till April 2024. Well, that settles it. This one was safety more recent. I'm gonna take this one. Which one was this? 101? 101 DB. Hello, 101. I have a marriage proposal for you. I have a truck. Oh, wait, no, this one has the ramps on it. Oh, this one's used for uh, offloading. Oh, okay, sorry. Didn't mean to get your hopes up, 101. This trailer is uh, designed specifically for uh, loading and unloading vehicles and ATVs and stuff. They'll, they might need this around here. I don't want to grab this one if I don't have to. This one here, well, this is 106, right? I guess we're going to just settle for you. I know, not too flattering having to be settled for, but I have a marriage proposal for you. I have a truck, a blue truck. And I think we're going to arrange a marriage. 106 DB. Safety. This one doesn't have the ramps. Okay. Oh, you're a little dirty. Okay. You're a little bit dirty. But uh, we're going to have to arrange a marriage with Old Blue and 106. 
let's hook up to it and uh, fill it up with air, make sure the brakes are working properly, make sure all the tires have quality autumn air in them, and also make sure that uh, the ABS light isn't on. Some of these trailers, <laughs> you just gotta make sure that the ABS light doesn't stay on. When you turn the key, it's supposed to flash on, and then off. I'll quickly show you since I'm here and I just had a coffee and I got lots of energy. Why not? We'll look at 101 here, okay? 101, you almost got married today. Not today. Okay, so this is the ABS light. Every trailer has it. This one's a big orange one. You see that one on that trailer there? It's a tiny one, but it does the same thing. When you turn the key on, the light comes on and then it turns off. That means the ABS system is working properly. If there's anything wrong with the ABS system in here, and something's not working right or something's not connecting right, the ABS light will come on and stay on. And that little beacon there will get you pulled into a scale very quickly. If you roll over a scale with that thing on, steady on, you're just asking to get pulled in. I'm not guaranteeing you would. Depends on the ambitions of the DOT enforcement or MOT here in Manitoba. But uh, that's, that's asking for an inspection. You don't want that light to be on. So we're gonna plug into this trailer, 106. Make sure that that light goes on, then goes off. Make sure the brake lines are all good, no air leaks, tires are all good. Throw my tarps on there. And uh, we're gonna head towards Kenora. Pick up a load there tomorrow. No blue. We're gonna divorce you from that trailer. We're gonna marry you to 106. It's gonna be fun. And you, 107, over there, you almost got married today to Old Blue. But someone had to go and leave that riser on your step. And that's just a, a deals off type of thing, you know? That's... Nope. Not if I have other options. And by the looks of it from here, it's not even the right size. You know, I was showing you last time that we have uh, at these, uh, we call them old boat trailers. They used to haul boats, but... These trailers, the series of trailers that we have, have a, a bigger step on them, right, than some of the other ones. And there's uh, different sizes of risers. And the bigger ones go with these trailers, the smaller ones go with the Fontaine trailers over there. That one's too small for that trailer, it's not even the right one. There might be a good reason it's sitting up there. Like I said, someone might actually be planning on taking that out today or tomorrow, and purposely left that up there. Usually, uh... It would be tagged if someone was waiting for it or going to take it out. It would be tagged or hooked up to the truck that's taking it. But uh, I think chances are it just got left there. But I don't know the story. I'm just having fun here making drama where there is none. All right, what is this? Rental trailer 61056. It was a nice marriage. You treated Old Blue very well, but I'm um, sorry, we're moving on to different things. Our, our our lives are just going in different directions, you know? That's the way it goes. You guys hung on. Good job. Thought for sure you'd get knocked over. Look at these leaves. Look at them. It is definitely fall. Definitely. It hits us sooner and harder than it does to our friends to the south. 
usually by Halloween, all the leaves are gone, and very often for Halloween, we have snow. So you see the kids out there with like snow suits on and then their costumes over their snow suits. So you got like a little, bun a whole bunch of little Michelin men running door to door saying trick or treat. All right, we're gonna stop in Prada. This is where we're gonna spend the night. Right in the same spot. Oh no, somebody's in our spot. Ah! There's a bobtail in our spot. I guess they didn't see my name written in the gravel there. Well, well. Maybe there's a better one. We'll see. Can't believe we took my spot. This is a pretty big travel stop. 100 meters, turn left on. Trans Canada Highway, Highway 1. No, I'm going to turn in here. Okay, so that side's taken already. Someone's parked there. Someone's parked in my spot over there. Actually, she's not completely in my spot. I call it my spot, but really it's just the spot that I like to park in when I come here. And no one's ever parked there. So I always call it my spot. It's okay, I'll forgive him. It's okay. I think I can still... I don't think he's actually in the spot I like parking. I think he's right beside it. Yeah, he is right beside it. But I don't I also don't want to come park right beside him either, you know. He's probably looking for some peace and quiet. That's probably why he parked over here. Park right in the center between that moving truck and him. That should be good. Usually I'd be right there against the grass, right? But then my engine would be right beside his sleeper. He probably wants peace and quiet, so I won't get too close. That guy over there, so I'm right in the middle of both of them. And that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. I gotta go back there and put this together now. Glad I got the bed done. So I don't have to do that now. But it's been a long day. Got a lot done. Tomorrow will be another long day, so I gotta get ready for it. Take care, everybody. Stay safe out there. Be safe. When you're on the highways, please remember to drive safe.